Ready to get crack a lacking? Yuck. My laptop's dead. Nice. Um. All right. This is James and Jordan talking the internet. Season two, episode six. No idea. I don't know. I just edited one a couple days ago. Who knows at this point? Um, lots of crazy stuff has happened in the world. As of late, uh, the endurance was found. Did you see that? The endurance. The endurance. No, I don't know what you're talking about. It was a ship in the oh. early 1900s. Where was that? Hanging out. Uh, in Antarctica, under the ice. Oh, sweet. Yeah. And was everybody okay? Uh, well, it was 1915 when it sank. What were they? Uh. They didn't have the ships to really sail in that kind of water, did they? Uh, well, they did. It just not very well. The endurance. The endurance. Um, it was uh, Ernest Shackleton. It's one of the greatest survival stories of all time. It's utterly fantastic. We don't be now. So the dude survived. All of them survived. There's a crew of like familiar. twenty-three people, and, they, and nobody ate somebody. Every single one of them survived. Don't knock things off, you know. No, I think I've heard of this before. As he knocks things off. It's very famous. This is where they, they got some other people to, like, pick them up at a different location. No. That's not what happened. Well, can't, can't, don't drink my water. Um, This cat is a menace. Get, get, So they sent, get. like, a couple people out? So the original plan was they were going to, their goal, his goal was to be the first person to walk across Antarctica. Just because, right? Um, so he knew that the boats that he had couldn't hold enough supplies to get him across. So he set. So what the original goal was was to send another crew to the other side, and they would haul yes, shit like familiar. across a third of the way, so that <clears> they <throat> could then pick it up on their way and make it to the other side. But that didn't end up happening. So what they did do is they brought their boat, the Endurance. And they were sailing it through, and then the ice closed around it, as ice tends to do, and because it was 1915, it was made of wood. It's actually surprisingly held up. It must be like the you cold uh, yeah, temperature. That's what they're saying, is that it's like the most preserved yeah, no, boat they've ever seen, because yeah. there's no wood-eating things in it. Um, yeah, I mean, look at that. It's crazy. That looks like it just recently... The photos... You said 1850? 1915. 1915. Oh, okay. Um, the photos we see now are better than the ones that we have of it before it sank. Well, yeah. It's utterly I, I insane. Ca cameras have changed a lot since um, 1950. But it's under... It's like several thousand feet of water. How deep is it? It was a lot. I need to change batteries real quick. Vamp. That's... You know, if you break that shit, I swear to God. I was actually looking up shipwrecks um because that's just something i'm interested in i have a podcast for you but uh i guess the deepest one is uh well, some warship it's i think like eighteen thousand something feet and that's the deepest wreck uh it depends on what you classify as a shipwreck what do you mean what i classify as a shipwreck yeah what what's a ship uh, it's a ship. What are you talking uh, about? Because it's a ship that got wrecked. Megatron from Transformers was dropped into the Marianas Trench. And that he is, was it, fucked up. That's so. a fictional movie. Hey. Um, all right. Uh, sh uh, shipwreck depth. It was several thousand feet. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Um, I don't know. Anyway, the story of the of the rest of the crew after the ship got fucked up. Ship got crushed by ice. 
Um, now I can't hear anything in my headphones. That's awesome. This is a really lame podcast so far. Hold on. Huh. Yeah, this is this is what people want to sit down and listen to. I don't know. Maybe make sure everything works before you start. It was working. Oh, well. We'll figure it out. Maybe I just won't do this one with headphones. <laughs> um, so anyway, the rest of the story is that... Uh, I'm just going to... I'm freeballing this one. Headphones are broken. Um, I'll let you know if you're sounding all right. I appreciate that. Um, so the rest of the story is that the ship gets stuck on the ice. So then the crew are like, we're fucked. And they can hear the ice like slowly crushing the ship. And this guy's not even in the ship. No, they're all on the ship still. So this is before he even started his journey. Yeah, they, they hadn't even gotten to where they were so trying to So he did not go. walk across Antarctica. No, he did not. Okay. <laughs> did not accomplish his goal. <clears throat> all right. So <clears throat> they all get off. And they're walking around on the ice, and they are working on getting their, the, they're getting supplies off it for like a month. They get two of the smaller boats. They get two of the smaller lifeboats, take them off, are pulling them with ropes and their sled dogs, and they start like filling the the lifeboats with supplies, and they're gonna walk their way to somewhere where they can get help. Right? Yeah. So. I can't find how deep it is on anything. They're walking for months and months and months. And they have to keep camping and doing all this stuff. Not to mention the polar bears. Are there aren't polar bears on the South Pole, are there? I thought they were on the North Pole. I don't know. Aren't polar bears grizzly bears that just are further yeah, north? They just bleached out their fur. Yeah. They're going through a phase. Yeah, um, well, no. Why wouldn't they be on the other side, too? Because how is a bear going to get across all well, of what the, is the ocean? What does the South Pole have? Penguins. And that's it? I think so. They don't have any scary animals there? Uh, sea lions, maybe? Walruses? Where are they? Those, I think those are a little further, I think those are north. No. I don't think those are typically south. I think penguins are pretty, because there's no way for anything else to get down there. You know what I mean? Hey. Yeah. Okay, so anyway. So they're walking and they're they're running out of shit. So they start like killing seals to get seal meat. Yeah. To eat the seals. You can also skin them and wear their skin. Uh they they had they had plenty of skin. No, oh, they they had... they they were warm. Oh, okay. It All was right. more they didn't have any food or water. Um snow. They didn't have anything to burn to melt it. Well, then they're idiots. What do you mean? <laughs> he planned this trip out, and he didn't bring a lighter. It was 1915. He also didn't expect... He was going to take, don't like... think people had lighters in 1915? He was going to take, like, four guys to go across. They had, like, five or six times the amount of people. They, had, they left with no equipment to make a fire. They didn't have anything to burn. He's an idiot. They are running out of supplies. Their fucking ship? That's Their made ship of wood? sank. <laughs> it sank. I, it, there's footage. I thought footage. it got crushed. It got crushed, and then it fell, because oh, it okay. filled with water. <laughs> okay. And then they were like, shit. Yeah, so then they're hauling ass across the ice. They're trying to get so somewhere. So they didn't have enough time to grab something to burn? Well, what are you going to do? What was he planning on burning? What are you prioritizing? Uh, fucking, How you're going to have to cut down a mast, out? or are you going to grab the barrel full of food? You don't know when's the, when the ship is going to sink. Okay, well... It could go down at any second. All right, well... Okay, so they were already... They were in the ice. They just jumped up onto the ice, and the ship went down. Right. So there was no lifeboat thing or anything. They they brought <laughs> lifeboats with them. But they were going to need those... To burn. When they got to water, eventually. They were trying to get back to water. So they yeah. could get somewhere. <laughs> okay, well... All that being said, sure. They didn't, they didn't have anything to burn. Whatever. You can eat the snow. Yeah, but it's then you're burning more in. calories and you need to eat more food, which they didn't have. You can go a while without food. You can't go without water. Anyway. <laughs> when you put snow in your mouth, 
it melts. Correct. They weren't eating the snow. I mean, eventually, well, here's what they resorted to eventually, is they were <clears throat> drinking seal blood. Overeating snow. Yeah. It's already a liquid. And you get some, you get some tasty calories from it. Gross. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, maybe it tastes good. Well, they also shot and killed all of their dogs and then ate them, too. Because at, at some point, the dogs just... Wait, there, so there was no you're use telling for me them. they were eating these raw? Uh, yeah. Gross. Yeah. And I bet they immediately were like, this was dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it was so cold, and they, were, they didn't have enough water, so they, were, they didn't have any saliva, so they couldn't even eat food, so they would chew on frozen seal meat to try and get some of the frozen blood to melt so that they could get enough water in their system so they could make saliva so that they could... This is like a tenth of the journey, by the way. So that they could get food to go down their throats. Okay, so they're eating seals. They're walking on ice, and the ice is like different pieces that will randomly shift apart having this like 20-foot chasm into like 32 degrees water probably less because it's salt water with scary things in there with maybe scary things and then yeah. the ice would just slam back together um and they had a case where they were all sleeping and fucking one of these things opens up and a dude falls in and Arnold Shackleton the captain of it walks over or runs over probably <laughs> reaches down, grabs the dude's sleeping bag, because they're on sleeping bags because it's fucking Antarctica. Right. Um, grabs the guy's sleeping bag, lifts him out with one arm because he's a badass. Before the dude, like, gets up and touches back onto the ground, the thing slams shut. Like, he missed it by probably half a second of almost getting crushed to death. What so if they just <laughs> made all this up, though? I don't think they did. <laughs> So then, they, they're they fucking hauling ass, getting their way across. They finally reach water again. So then they're like, we're going to sail. We're going to find land. Like, the most southern land you can find. And they made it to that land, right? They're finally on solid ground. Dudes had, like, a dude has his feet cut off because he got frostbite. They finally set foot on on solid ground for the first time in, like, Six months. One of the dudes has a heart attack. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. die. Oh, shit. Has a heart attack. So then Ernest Shackleton is like, well, we can't just stay here. This is an uninhabited island that's the size of a football field. Like, there's nothing here. We can't grow any food or anything. Like, we, we have to leave. So he takes uh, five other assholes with him. He's like, we're going to find South Georgia. Where there's a whaling outpost, and we're gonna we're gonna get to it, and we're gonna get help, and we're gonna come back, and we're gonna get the rest of you. If we're not back in eighteen months, we died, and you need to send another expedition to go get more help. In eighteen months. Eighteen months. So eighteen months. And at this point, they hadn't seen like there were no stars because it was super cloudy. It had been cloudy for like weeks, so they didn't have anything to calibrate their their instruments with. So they were just like, we have to hope that everything stayed perfectly. 1915 equipment. We have to hope that it stayed calibrated while we were fucking hauling ships, like bumping ships across ice and sailing across like the harshest conditions you can sail across. 1915. They were using a fucking sextant and a compass that was probably off by quite a bit. They make it to South Georgia but they were on the wrong side. <laughs> it's super long and thin. Okay. But they didn't have the strength to get around. Like, the rocks were all super, like, it was super craggly and scary um, and would have crushed their boat. So they got it to the land, and they were going to haul it up onto land, but they weren't strong enough to get the boat out of the water. So they had to disassemble the boat to get it out of the water so it wasn't smashed to pieces. But they couldn't rebuild it, so they couldn't get back in it to sail around. So Ernest Shackleton's like, okay, we're, th this is all from a book I, I listened to called Endurance. It's fucking awesome. He's like, okay, 
we have to go across the island. Was it named the Endurance before? Yes. Wow, they had they chose the right name. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's like, we're gonna get across the island, and this is the point at which the book that I read says nobody had ever done this for the simple fact that it was impossible. <laughs> Because it's just like a mountain in Antarctica, basically. Like, it's super windy, super snowy, like minus 40 degrees the entire time. You can't see anything because it's pitch dark. There's no sun for six months of the year. Like, it's just, it's impossible. Hey, stop. Yeah, so we made it to so the whaling place. He get, they, they, he's like, okay. We can either take all of our supplies and do like a slow, methodical trek across, and the, the people we left behind are probably going to die. Or we can just haul ass. We can take like the bare minimum and we can haul ass and we can make it across. So he took, I think, 50 feet of rope, a pickaxe type thing that was used for cooking, and that's it. And a little bit of food. And he says, okay, two of you, you're coming with me. The rest of you stay here. They they start making their way across and they get to like the top. And then it's about to be like night night time. So he says, and there's like a storm coming or some some unbelievable bullshit. And he's like he turns to the other two guys, he's like, We're gonna sled down this mountain on our asses. And the other guys are like, That is fucking insane. We cannot do that. And he's like if we stay here, we are going to die. So we're going to sled down the side of this mountain on our asses. So they all sat down, crisscross applesauce, wrapped their arms around each other, toboggan style, and slid down the fucking mountain. Sweet. <laughs> Made it down. Totally fine. Made it to the whaling outpost. Sail- got. To people, sailed back around to the island, other side of the island, picked up the other three assholes. They had to, like, argue with the government to let them get a ship so they could go back and get the rest of the crew. And it took them, like, another 12 months. <laughs> Were the other people all dead? No. To- all totally fine. I mean, not fine, but they were alive. <laughs> they finally, after... Four or five attempts where they kept getting stuck in the ice. Uh, some rant, like the Venezuelan government, let them have a ship that would that could make it through. They make it through. They show up. The other assholes are like, "Oh my god, we're we're saved." And it's really interesting in the book. They talk about how these men just hop on the ship, leaving things that fifteen minutes before they would have sooner died than give up. Like how quickly their brains reset, it, it's 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 insane what these people did. Why is there no movie about this? I don't know. It's it's awesome. And the one of my the my absolute favorite line is when they're going to cross South Georgia. They talk the the person who wrote the book says, in like nineteen ninety. Another team of researchers using modern technology with all the time in the world who's own the only people relying on them making it across this island were themselves where they could afford to make mistakes. They had like satellite imaging they could choose the time of year they showed up. They could do all this stuff while they were there crossing the island. They found two paths. They have the A path and the B path. They took the B path which is the super long, super, like, methodical approach to it. It took them, like, weeks and weeks and weeks to get across this island. Shackleton took the A-path, and they don't know how he did it. (laughs) So he's a badass. He's a total badass. Even though he put all these other people in danger. I mean, they all signed up. They knew what they were getting into. Did they? Apparently, they, they, really, they were all fine. They, they were expecting this? I mean, they probably weren't expecting that, but it was going to be dangerous. It's fucking 1915. So did he go back and accomplish what he said? I don't... Uh, I think he went back a couple times. I don't know if he ever walked across. I was like, I'm... I don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> I 
I'm I'm cooled out by this guy. He's a fucking badass. So anyway, his ship was found. <laughs> he gets home and he just gets hit by a bus. <laughs> he dies. Gets tuberculosis. Eats eats some raw chicken. Gets some salmonella. I think you can kind of like. I know you probably have never been in a, like an uncomfortable situation out in the woods, but like, um, like have you ever hiked a mountain in a s- severe thunder shower? No. Okay, that's my well, that's not remotely close to that. No, guy, but, it, but yeah, like yeah. it's my only like thing where I can say like, yeah, you, you were just, a little, you were a little freaked out. Not freaked out. It's but just it was, you, it, you, I, ch- you got to change your mindset where it's like you don't have, you can't think about like. You reprioritize how much it sucks. It's like you just things. have to be like, like the angle is that you get to a certain point, yeah, and you're fine. And then there's no other like, yeah, there's no like, oh my you feet just, hurt. It's just like yeah, yeah, you, you, you yeah. flick over and you're like, it doesn't matter how much it sucks. It has to get done, yeah. so yes. I might as well just do it. Yeah. Or the only other time was when um we had this really bad ice storm, like just for one night. It wasn't like the the big ice storm um that was before i was born i think the big big one 96 yeah 2000 yeah yeah i don't really remember it that well so i was like three i don't remember it at all (laughs) yeah well anyway uh yeah it was just freezing rain they hadn't treated the roads yep so they shut down this entire road and i had to walk like uh i don't know how many miles it is like it's gotta be at least three miles yeah i had to ditch my car that's like an hour that's easily an hour walk in like regular conditions. What where I was? Three miles. That's an hour walk if it's like a sunny day and not too hot out. Yeah. And you're not you're just walking in like a t shirt. Well, yeah. I mean it was quite a ways. And then uh I couldn't walk on the road because it was so icy you couldn't even right. walk on it. I remember you telling me about yeah, this. Yeah, so you had to, I was like walk along the through the woods, yeah. Yeah, and it's just like I couldn't feel my feet by the end of it. Yeah. So it's like when you get into that state, it's like, so I can't, I've come so far that I can't go back. You literally can't stop because yeah. if you stop, you're, you're fucked. Like there's no other option I have to get to. Right. Somebody who's waiting for me up this hill. Yeah. Because like I, I remember thinking about that when I was walking, I was like, I can't really like feel my feet anymore. And I was like, should I walk back? And then I was just like no like i can't do anything other than this so i was just out in the middle of the fucking woods yeah freezing with like ice like soaking wet and like ice yeah that was fun but yeah so his experience would be like that mindset but like on fucking steroids it's crazy yeah what they had to do no i'm gonna go home and look this up you should definitely look i've it. heard of it but because I, I know what you're talking about but like not i think there was like a drunk history episode mm. about this. Mm. So that's obviously not going to be very educational. I don't know if you've seen that show. but uh, I've seen clips. It's pretty funny. I've been watching, um, I think it's called Sam Onella Academy. It's, uh, I think I might have sent you one of the videos. It's like stick people drawings and this guy losing his shit over history stuff. <laughs> it's really fucking funny. No, I haven't seen it. It's so funny. You should definitely check it out. He hasn't posted anything in like two years. Um, the cat's back. He's a menace to society. What are you doing? Mr. Cat, how are you doing tonight? Would you like to be on the podcast? Oh, suddenly he's gone silent. Don't you dare yeah, drink my water. He was meowing earlier. He's the drama queen. All right, what else? What is uh, we we got a DVD the here. Reno 911 complete series box set that I have here. Um, Amazing show. How much does that? <laughs> Just showing his butthole to the camera. <laughs> he's, hey. a, he's a perv. He's a he's a star. Get over here. Um, yeah, they it says uncensored. Uh, over thirty two hours of Reno. <laughs> so a, a day and a half, um, to get through it all. Uh, I I started season two today. Season one is still censored. Some of it. Most of it. I thought you watched all of it. I have seen all of it, but it was yeah. on uh, Hulu really? or HBO or whatever. This is, so that's widescreen. We were watching it the other day. This is 4x3, the original aspect ratio. So, like, the tops and bottoms aren't cut off, which is awesome. I, I don't know why streaming services insist. They did it with Seinfeld, too. 
and the Simpsons before they fixed that because everybody got mad at them. Like, why would you not show it in the original aspect ratio? I don't give a fuck that it's not filling my TV screen. I want to see the whole fucking show. Like, there are visual gags in this that I didn't realize. Like, in the first episode, when Dangle's fucking sitting on top of the police car, I didn't realize that he's wearing fucking combat boots with the short shorts. I, I didn't, do not realize that. I, because you don't see it in the with when the tops and bottoms are cut off. I didn't realize they... I, that's the scene where he's, like, talking about how he custom he's makes like, his uniform. meow. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I need to be a cheetah. And it cuts back to that several times. I never realized that he was wearing combat boots until I watched it when I could see the fucking bottom. Man, they really jam these into the Yeah, it's not the, it's not the highest quality. It was like $25 for every 14 discs, six Probably seasons. Probably get this used for like fucking seven bucks. It's also uh, probably not the best transfer onto a, a DVD. Um, so the, it looks like shit. <laughs> Especially the first season. The second season looks a lot better. This looks like something somebody would be selling. Like, <laughs> out behind of a, a, out of a, behind out a blockbuster of a in, like, the 90s. I got this. Uh, I got the bootleg copy right here. I was very much expecting. How many seasons were there? Seven? Six. Six. Yeah. And then there's uh, the new stuff that's on Roku TV. Which is, it's pretty good. It's I not like too bad. When they add um, the seasons that are good is when I forget what the when they add her to it. Yeah, uh, she's pretty funny. I didn't like her at first. It took a little while for me to warm up to her. <laughs> it's such a great show. It's so fucking funny. Have you seen the movie yet? <laughs> no, I haven't gotten the movie yet. It's okay, I guess. Yeah. It's not like there's some stuff in it that's funny. And then it's just kind of like... I've seen a couple of clips with Terry. Did you see the alligator clip? Nah. I saw him with his private jet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they show up and he's like, I'm recording an album. It's called Fuck You, Dad. (laughs) What? This is my... This is where... One of my houses. uh, I have seven houses. And it's like all true at the end of the movie. Yeah. Terry's probably my favorite side character. Like, of the the non-main... Main guys, Terry's probably my favorite. Um, what I are think the other reoccurring ones? There's the germaphobe. T-T. There, oh, t- the yeah. yeah and then the, there's the germaphobe who's always in like the brothel. The, the brothel. Yeah. And he's got the dildo <laughs> stuck to his head. Not a single employees must wash their hands. Sign in this place. <laughs> I got my juices. <laughs> yeah. There's that the guy's funny. the cutaway at the end <laughs> of the episode that they. I don't think they do it in the later seasons. Where it's like next week on Reno, but most of it just it, it's probably sketches that got cut for time or whatever. And one of them is like, I'm gonna make love to this sweet young lady, and Mrs. Min's here, he's gonna watch. His cat's in a cat carrier. Yeah. <laughs> and the it pans over to the prostitute and she's just like, What the fuck? Does this have like bonus stuff? Uh, I think so. It comes up with that warning that says that all uh interviews are the views of the actors and not the corporation or whatever. So I assume there's interviews somewhere. Two hours of outtakes. We should watch those. There's a couple episodes on there that aren't on streaming. There's like four episodes that I haven't seen. So probably well no the uh the um sex slave that ends up working for Reno. That's on there. She's a good uh yeah, yeah she's a good yeah, recruit. She's pretty good. She's in the new one. You asked me about that the other day. Yeah I haven't seen it. Is it even funny? Yeah, it's worth watching, I'd say. It's def- it's not as funny as the old yeah. stuff, obviously. And they're <clears throat> almost 20 years older, but there's there's some great stuff with Dangle and his uh the Beige Angels where he's get, he gets a bicycle squad <laughs> and they're all like riding up a ramp and stuff and he's too scared to go up the ramp. <laughs> Dango. <laughs> yeah, it's a good show. Yeah, I get a I just saw them when they came out on TV. I never like. Well, if you would like to rewatch them uh, at any time, let me know. I'll let you borrow. There is no uh, oh, the, the, the chemical shower. Set. <laughs> this is the face of freedom. <laughs> I just love the my favorite line in that is from uh, what's her face? I forget their names. I haven't seen Clementine. This Clementine, Trudy, Dale, Dangle, Dangle. Yeah, fucking. 
don't know, I gotta rewatch this. But yeah, just at the end of that, when uh, he's saying how it's like that doesn't exist, like there's no uh, you know, what, what was it? A <laughs> the, chemical terrorist. Like the Department of Defense doesn't send out people to do tests. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, and there's a uh, female. <laughs> She's uh, actually a man. <laughs> and then Travis yeah. uh, Junior's like, does it make you gay if you, you jerked, off, jerked off to her? Like, no, you thought you thought she was a woman, so no. And then well, somebody's like. I think it does, and he goes, "Fuck." <laughs> no, I just like how, like, after he says that, she's just immediately like, "Let's just not talk about it outside of this room ever, okay?" <laughs> like, I just like, like, silence, and then like <laughs> five seconds later, Waggles like, "I can't believe they stole over his stuff," and they're just like, "You just took a vow of silence." <laughs> Let's just not talk about it ever outside of this room. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we should start a separate podcast where we we watch each episode and talk about it like the Always Sunny crew does. Did you watch that thing for Always Sunny where they're gonna do a drunk, get shit faced, then do a podcast? Uh, no. There's a trailer thing they released. Is it a trailer for? I guess you can do a trailer for a podcast. I suppose. Um, and it, Caitlin Olson's in it, and Glenn Howerton and Rob McElhenney are about to fight. <laughs> it's great. They're just all shit faced. I'm very excited. Did you? Don't they do that at like ten in the morning? <laughs> hey, five o'clock somewhere. Um, the boys season three trailer came out. Yeah, I haven't watched that, but I did see, like, just it's... the ad. It's got a lot in it. I'm so so. I'm probably gonna have to sit down and watch seasons one and two before that comes out. The deep. <laughs> the fucking whale. <laughs> What was his name, like, Lucy or something? I don't remember. <laughs> Just they're fucking speeding away on the speedboat, and all of a sudden a fucking whale shows up. I like when he, uh, in the first one with the the, uh, the dolphin. No, when I go see the... <laughs> yeah, it's like, sitting in that song. <laughs> if you want to be my lover, can I get with my friend? On this one, he's uh, banging a chick, and then he looks up, and there's an aquarium, and an octopus is looking at it. <laughs> Well, he was having sex with the dolphin. Allegedly. He he basically says to the dolphin, if he gives him a hand job, will you will you shut up? <laughs> Giving dolphins hand jobs is a very historical. Yeah, there's actually thing. A, a woman who straight up did that. Yeah, lived in a house with a dolphin and jacked yep. it off because mm-hmm. they were trying to teach it to learn English. And it was distracted. Yes. And then they. Started dropping acid, and then the government cut their funding. The other guy was given his dolphin's acid. And then her dolphin never. I thought her dolphin. I thought they started doing it all together. No, no, not her. It was a separate. It was part of the same thing, but like Mm. she was only with this one dolphin. And she was like, don't give my dolphin LSD. What a party pooper. Can you imagine? That guy probably wasn't even like a legit scientist he was probably was, just a well, fucking what like the 1950s you could get, be a legit scientist you didn't even have to go to college you could be a, a elementary school dropout and you could get a grant from the government <laughs> saying that you were a legitimate scientist with <laughs> qualifications was he taking lsd2 with them almost certainly yeah they stole it from the beatles and they were giving it to their dolphins i wonder what it, that does to a dolphin what was he trying to do Make it learn English. <laughs> no, he wasn't teaching it English. I don't know what he was doing. He was giving him LSD for sure, but I don't know anything <laughs> other than that. Like, what was his plan? Do you think they were going to become, like, I don't know, highly intelligent dolphins? And No idea. Maybe they were trying to uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy it. How wild would learn that from be, the though? Dolphins. Like, to be on... I've never done acid, but I mean, I, if you were underwater... Mm. Um, that must be a different experience. Uh, you probably drown. Well, as a human, yeah, probably. I, I bet as a dolphin, you might drown too. They didn't drown. You're not gonna forget how to breathe. You might. If breathing so. required an extra step, you I might forget. I've it. never heard of somebody dying from forgetting how to breathe <laughs> because they were on LSD. But if there was another step involved with breathing, like Going if there was the a surface, lid. Yeah. If there was a lid that you needed to open in order to breathe, and then you had to close it when you're done breathing, 
people would drop acid and forget to open the lid. I don't think so. I think so. Those dolphins didn't die. How many dolphins were there though? That's a pretty I think small he had sample like size. Two. That might have been like those might have been the Einsteins of dolphins. <laughs> you give it to like an Alabama redneck dolphin, that dolphin's dead in two minutes. No, I, I don't know. I think it's gonna try breathing out its butthole, and then it will die. No, I I don't know. I don't know what he was doing with the dolphins. I don't think you'd forget how to breathe even if you were a dolphin. Dolphins are weird. Do you know they're self-aware? Yeah. They they did all these experiments to see if a dolphin would recognize itself in the mirror. Yeah. And they, like, put a mark on its face, and then the dolphin was, like, looking, trying to see, like, that's me. Look, I have a mark. What is that? Yeah. They also like to bonk the glass. Like, I mean, I don't know where you would ever really see a reflection, like, uh... In, in under the water? In the water, but, yeah. Maybe if you were, I guess you would see some of it. Maybe when because they do that, they 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 breach a little bit. You might see it off the yeah, water. Maybe yeah. But then it's all ripply because you just like rocketed out of it, so you're not gonna see like a crystal. But it's, it's cool. They like they have like friends and stuff like that. Yeah, there's whole social hierarchies. Yeah. To, to and they, dolphin they lore. Like, yeah, they like they're rapists too. And like, yeah, they they do. There is quite a bit of rape in yeah. the dolphin world. I watched a whole documentary about um, which is unfortunate. Dolphins who are like yeah about dolphins. They, they brought that up. Yeah, they, yeah. It's kind of a thing that they, it's yeah. kind of like a duck or uh, like chimpanzees self aware. I don't know. Or um, I heard a, an anecdote recently where it was comparing different apes slash. I guess they're all apes. Bonobos are kind of smart. If you give a gorilla a screwdriver, it shut it'll, it right it'll look head. at you and it'll be like, why, you, why is this human giving me this thing? What is this? If you give an orangutan yeah. a screwdriver, it'll go figure out how to use it. Yeah. If you give a chimpanzee a, a screwdriver, well, it'll stab you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I don't like chimpanzees. They're Bonobos scary. Bonobos are cool. Yeah. Um, I could take a chimpanzee um, in a fight, though. No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. I they like, might have, um, they, they have the reach. And they have the grip strength, and they have the the craziness. One roundhouse kick. Yeah, I don't think so. One but, uh, one well placed roundhouse there's kick. There's a video of an orangutan. Um, orangutan. Tang. Tan. Using a. There's um, no second G. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> using a um. Down with fake news. Using like a saw. I've seen that, but it wasn't actually like. It just saw that other people were. Yeah, monkey Sorry, see, monkey it, do. Right, but it wasn't actually doing anything. It was going through the motions without, yeah. just because it that's just saw somebody else do it. What was, hey, saw? Um, yeah. what was saw? Wasn't there a? Is is it true that the first and maybe only animal to ever ask a question was a parrot? It's a thing I heard somewhere. I mean, it's just repeating. Uh... No, it was like <clears throat> the the thing is like. If you talk to Coco the gorilla, which actually I watched a video about how that's kind of all bullshit. Um, and how it was like Coco would just make random things with her hands and then she would accidentally say a word or a phrase and then people would be like, look, a gorilla can talk. Well, what about the bonobo who has the, um, uh, I forget what they're called. It's a picture. Um, touch screen i don't know about that oh so she'll be like i've seen that yeah you can do that with like dogs and stuff too where they'll have buttons that say words yep and you can teach your dog to like play outside or food now (laughs) as soon as it learns that one all you get all you get all day long is food now food now sad (laughs) um but apparently they're all like little kids where they don't they don't know that there's knowledge outside of their brain. They just assume that everything that they need to know they already know. Like they they don't know to ask questions. They don't know that people what the parrot or other things might have like more information. But this parrot, I think, or some fucking uh, random ass bird who's not actually a parrot but looks just like a parrot. Um they were talking about colors with it, and it asked, what color am I? Like that... Uh, like I, it was like, what color am I? Yeah. 
or okay. something like color eye or something like what it, it it was it was a definitive like this is a question that an animal asked i don't know how true that is i, I it was probably like a facebook thing that i saw i don't know i think dolphins ask questions to other dolphins i don't know if they ask questions they definitely communicate like yeah. at a, a much higher level than other things do like orcas do it too but whales do it too not that orcas are whales i want to specify i know that orcas are porpoises yeah um killer whale like they have all these tactics orcas do orcas are fucking fascinating um like they a, a select family of orcas in one part of the world will teach their kids how to do this thing where when a seal slash sea lion is getting out of the water, that's like its most vulnerable spot because it's super slow because it, it's not great at walking yeah, on land. They slide up but on it's like air. really bad at the transition. So they can come out of the waves yeah. as it's doing, like intentionally beach themselves to grab a sea lion slash seal on the beach. And the videos I saw, it was just like a wave and all of a sudden, it was an orca's open mouth. It was the most terrifying shit I've ever seen in my life. And they talked about how only, like, 25% of the orcas can even do it. That's a dying, uh... <laughs> dying skill. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's Blackfish. No. <laughs> you should watch Blackfish. I don't want to watch it. I feel Why? like it would make me sad. <laughs> Why would it make you feel sad? Just... You don't want to watch people rounding up no, baby I don't. orcas, sea taking World. them from their parents? Listen, SeaWorld has some problems. <laughs> I think we can... I, I don't feel like that's very much of a hot take. I think most zoos are kind of sad. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a big fan of zoos. Depends on how they get the animals. Like... I understand that some animals you can't just release into the wild, and that's fine. Um, obviously, if it's got like a fucking broken leg, yes, just you, no like you Joe should. Exotic type stuff. Yeah, just don't like keep it in a cage all its life. Don't circus it. <clears throat> just you know, give it some space, let it do its thing. I think safaris are really cool for I... uh, like wildlife reservations. Those are awesome. Yeah, until you get attacked by like an ostrich. Uh, just don't be a dumbass. Don't roll your car window down and invite the ostrich over. Maybe. Just don't do that. Well, no, you mean you pay somebody, right? There are ones where you can just drive yourself. Hmm. And then you there are I, ones. However, if Jurassic Park was a real thing, I would be totally fine with that as a zoo. Yeah. I don't want that in the wild. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine not having that. But that would be, I would go to that, though. I don't think you could afford to go to that. No, they remember when the lawyer was coupon like, days? Can, yeah, we'll have a uh, coupon day or something. You'd be there with all the other poor peasants? No, he's like, everybody in the world has the right to enjoy these animals. I, th I think he wouldn't, he wouldn't allow the lawyer to have the prices too high for people. What they would, would clearly what would... have like the luxury. Yeah, where you get in. to like stay yeah. in the Tyrann Tyrannosaurus's asshole and. Right. Like the, the Disney World Stay in Cinderella's Castle package where it's like $20,000 for you a You get that little. <laughs> spitting thing like yeah. a, a facial from it yeah yeah stuff Skip like that skin right um wayne knight is there and he he gives you some shaving cream <laughs> why doesn't elon musk bring back dinosaurs they haven't he, they been working on bringing back a woolly mammoth for like 10 years now yeah why don't they just bring one of those what, things back how, what are they working on just do it yeah just do it we've cloned animals we know yeah. how to do it and then, fucking take the DNA, yeah, we'll inject that, that shit into a fucking elephant, shit out a mammoth, let's go. Yeah, and then, you know, then we can start making dinosaurs. Right. Hey. Start with the mammoth, not? because that's, you know, easy. And then you fucking take that dinosaur, inject it into a frog's butthole. Some of them turned into birds, though. Yeah, probably have to inject it into a chicken, actually. Can you imagine? <laughs> Being a fucking T-Rex, and then your ancestor, your eventual evolutionary tract is to be a fucking chicken stuck in a, a no, barn. I, I think those died out. Being force-fed. <clears throat> shitting your entire life and then getting killed after eight months. I'm sorry, eight weeks. I don't think they live eight months. What, a chicken? Yeah. Maybe. I think most of the ones raised for meat are killed oh. after like eight weeks. 
Yeah, pretty soon. I was about to say, like, chickens can live, like, 15 years. Oh, they can. They don't. Yeah, they do. Not in the slaughterhouse. No, not... No, I'm talking egg-laying hens. Yeah, like a... Yeah. Like, I had a chicken that was, like, 14 years old mm. when it died. Could almost drink in Germany. Probably could yeah. drink in Germany. Um, I think it's six... Uh, it's, I think it's 16. 16 in a lot of places. For just beer, though. Yeah, and hard liquor's, liquor's, like, like 18. Deeper. Yeah. But um, you could probably go find a beer that's like, oh, and you can drink wine too, I think. Yeah, you can actually get pretty fucked up on wine. Yeah, I mean, you could just what? go find a beer that's like 13% like wine or something. Yeah. Like I've had a beer that was 13% before. It's called Straight to Blackout. Yeah. I was only allowed three of them. Oh, And then okay. the guy cut me off. Yeah. I guess it was a family restaurant. <laughs> It was some like Mexican place down in. Florida. You whip your dick out at Texas yeah. Roadhouse. There were kids three in times. There, and... So what? Like, I wanted to be like, I drink two bottles of wine every night. Like, this is nothing, dude. I could probably still drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in fact, I am. In your head, you're just like, sir, I could probably still drive. Well, whereas from his perspective, uh, you're, just uh, <laughs> you're not even talking at him. You're talking at a reflection of yourself in a puddle of your own piss in the bathroom <laughs> what else was was news we we talked about the boys oh we have yeah um oh we got a daylight oh yeah BS day today oh yeah where we're going one uh, an hour into the future yeah so when it's 12 it's going to be one right and i'm assuming it's the it's the shitty daylight savings right, time. Right, it's not the good one. The phone's going to do that for me, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. it did it last time. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Modern technology is pretty cool. I wish that uh, my oven would do that so I didn't have to <clears throat> update it. You have to update your oven? Yeah, for the clock and my <clears throat> microwave. Oh, well, yeah. It's annoying. You want, like, a smart kitchen. I would like my, my oven to change the time automatically. Or, here's another thought. Get the fuck rid of daylight savings time, because it's yeah. stupid. Yeah, who cares? We should all move to Arizona. Yeah, they don't do it there, do they? Stick it to the man. But then we'd, have to, we'd just, have to live in Arizona. All it does is just make people more tired and cranky. Open a leather shop in Arizona? But then, you They'd know. be out of business in a week. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> what is that from? Always Sunny. When they're getting the artifact out of that rich... Oh. White person's house, air quotes. The Texas people? Yeah. Yeah. They're from the South. Yeah, so we They're got They're talking that. about leaving us. Um, yeah. Anything else? Any other news in the world of James or Jordan? Uh, Ghost has a new album out now. Nice. I don't know who that is. Oh, it's pretty, uh, it's, um... I don't really consider them to be like metal. I would say they're just like a rock. Say group. I don't consider them to be music. <laughs> no, so <laughs> you're like my dad. No, Ghost is uh, no, yeah, Impera. Their album came out, which I'm enjoying, uh, thoroughly. They have a very like metal look to them. Uh, it's very campy, kind of uh, like mm -hmm. the concerts are almost like it's a show, right? You know it's what I mean? Performance, it's, right? But it's um, people who don't get that are usually like ghost sucks or whatever it's like they're not even real metal and it's like yeah there's a difference between like like slipknot or something which right. is more like a serious like that's the group sure and then there's ghost which is like sometimes just over the top like um like the music's really catchy mm -hmm. but the show is just like meant to be like any sort of like super glammed up it's somewhere in between a... what real music is and what spinal tap is uh yeah, I mean all the all the bandmates are like fictional people. It's just one guy who's like a satanic cult uh leader. Cool. Um or the, the church is like it's basically they write all their songs like the, the lyrics are like religious mm -hmm. except like reversed from anything that like Catholicism would be. Okay. So he's got like a uh, he dresses like a priest and has like the makeup on. Like, does a he skeleton. diddle kids? No, oh. they don't. 
So they really are the opposite of the yes, the, the very opposite. But um, but um, yeah, but uh, yeah. So it's like it's his fictional character, and then anybody else in the band, you don't know who they are. It's different people at like every time. Mm. But uh, yeah. So they just had a new album come out, and I give it uh, I give it a four point five out of five. I would say. Mm. You're gonna rate that higher than you rated the Batman. What I I give the Batman an eight. Think so. I gave it a nine. Yes, but that's music, though. Yeah, well, we'll yeah. do a five thing for music <laughs> and a ten, ten for movies. What is a? Because it's really easy. Classical art get paintings and shit like that. Well, we've never reviewed those. Should we? We'd have to like go to a museum. No, we and don't. See some stuff. Oh yeah, you can't just look at a picture of the art. You have to actually see it. Well, I could order a piece of art online for like four hundred dollars from a local artist, supporting local local artists in my community. So now we're going to trash local artists in our No, community. I'm going to review it as I see fit? No, I think that's If it's dumb. fucking garbage, no. I'm going to call it fucking no, garbage. Just movies and, and music. That's the first uh, first music. Uh... No, we reviewed the Beatles. Oh, that's we, right. The Octopus's Garden is the best Beatles song. Octopus's Garden, yeah. It's a All good right. song. It's a real banger. Yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess so. Hasta luego. Uh, uh, have fun being tired tomorrow. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited having to not wake up and build a fucking kitchen island. I'm glad that's done. Oh, that's right. You get the weekends off. I don't. Yeah, I do. But you get paid more on Sunday. Dude, I'm making <sighs> right now. <sighs> I probably shouldn't say that. Yeah, just cut that. <laughs>